Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 4. Uh, we've done some changes uh, between the last episode and this one. I've gone around and switched over our gear slightly. Um, so uh, we've imprinted the engulfing flames onto this uh, uh, this ring and we've uh, re-rolled one of the stats on it so um, we've got something more useful to us. Uh, this is now our final ring uh, until such a time as we get uh, like perfect rolls because this has a brilliant roll on it for the engulfing flames 80% is top notch ring of inner calm nothing's really changed on this we still have our aspect ready to imprint on it which is the uh, the 10 percent uh, which will make that faster ramp up time uh, we've put our firewall uh, imprint over on this uh, so it's now 87 mana uh, before our firewall casts are free and destroy small missiles. That's really good. And we've uh, we've put our hearts in each of these as well. Uh, so we're back to having our wrathful heart bonus. I don't think we're going to really change this amulet across anytime soon. So I might actually upgrade it all the way um, to the top level. We put Conflagration on our staff. It's only a bare basic imprint. As soon as we get something better, we're going to um, increase that. Um, but that's still 40% extra burning damage across all of our burning damage uh, while we channel Incinerate. Uh, we've got our Greaves of Fortune. Um, I probably should upgrade them. We'll do that in a moment. Um, lucky hit chance increase while we have a barrier. We don't really have barrier generation right at this moment. Um, Technically, the heart can give us a barrier, but I don't know if that will will be the same type. Tacets of Might, uh, damage reduction, that's uh, imprinted from one of our other things. Damage reduction from enemies that are burning, most enemies should be burning. Plain damage reduction, this is a very defensive uh, set of trousers. Uh, and then Gauntlets of Control have come back in. Uh, so we deal more damage to stunned or frozen mobs. And then uh, we're increasing our crowd control duration. Um, and uh, while they're unstoppable, we just deal flat extra damage. Uh, the exploiters thing is, is pretty good. Um, these two work well together. And given we have the lucky hit chance to, um, uh, to immobilize mobs... Um, that's that's pretty nice for us. And then we've got the Helm of Disobedience at the top. So so our equipment's looking pretty good. Uh, there's no Helltide event, at least not going to be for another fair old whack. Um, so at level 55, our most efficient dungeon to be facing would be uh, level 61 mobs. Uh, level 61 mobs would be tier 7. We've got a tier 6 thing, which is over in Harazar, for the Lost Keep. We haven't done the Lost Keep yet. So we're going to start off with that I think let me just uh, take us over I do want to do the faceless shrine at some point it's, there's so many so many little side uh, side quests and dungeons um, in terms of our renown actually uh, in how is our we need 10 Solid dungeons would uh, would get us up to 550, 11, 11 and a bit, or 10 and some side quests. Uh, so this is this is going to be pretty good in terms of our actual. Let's use this elixir. Uh, progress. Let's head on in. Probably should have looked at what the uh, the effects were going to be for this before we started, but. We can find out once we're in there. Now, primarily what we're doing um, is looking to upgrade our, our sigils even further. Uh, gold find, so more gold. Nightmare portals open and monsters bleeding damage. This, this is fine. Uh, it's going to be less dangerous than the uh, tier 7 one we did previously. Now we could we could probably do a higher level dungeon. 
but we're not going to have any benefit for doing that. And the main reason I say that is because the, uh, the experience for mobs caps out at um, six levels higher than us, uh, given we're on world tier three. We are looking for the tortured spirits to kill in here. Now with high, um, high-ish monster density, we're going to be getting good experience by killing mobs. We do want to, to kill them, but it's not super vital for us to do that. Out of Once again. Having it only take a little bit of mana in order for the firewall to become upgraded is is really quite amazing i think that's going to feel like the biggest change because we can put down a couple of firewalls and then the next one just becomes better grab things try and keep moving and some of these um, some of these early mobs uh, were able to put down enough uh, fire damage over time that they are gonna get hit by uh, the extra um, extra damage we deal when it exceeds their maximum life so it's really feeling a lot faster to kill mobs all right well one fractured spirit is done Portal. Let's get you gone. We'll keep moving up. We're sort of doing a right wall hug this time rather than a left wall hug. And out of mana. Hmm. Now these are only level 59 mobs. I thought that they would be level 60 mobs. So maybe I miscounted. Perhaps we'd be better off on tier 8. Either way, the experience difference between them is is negligible. There we go. He went down really quickly once the moment came. Stacking that uh, that damage over time, it feels like it makes a difference. Who needs to execute mobs when uh, when that last little burn happens so quickly? Plus, we do extra damage when they're injured as well. Yeah, the incentive's really there for us to... Um, oh my god, the, that bleeding damage. That is really funny to see. Um, the incentive is there for us to hit them with just a little bit of burning damage, even if it's just to make sure that um, we take less damage from them. fashion way with five bolts then it's got to be another yeah there's another one
Don't want to be caught directly in there. Oh my god, he came out quick, didn't he? I assume that's the uh, the tempest that does that. Hello, legendary pans. And another glyph. Cool. Well, that is one more spirit taken care of. Let's uh, keep moving, keep looking for the next. And in fact, while I think about it, we do have incense that I've been making, so we might as well start using them. It takes fiend roses, so I'm keen not to just use it willy nilly, but now and then. to burn that guy down before he exploded on us. Having five extra mana doesn't make much of a difference, but uh, it does give us a tiny bit longer in our channeling. Mr. Shaman, need to go. Okay, let's keep moving. Looks like my uh, my brother is uh, playing as well. Early morning Diablo seems to be the uh, flavor of the day. There we go, that is the last of the spirits. <clears throat> so I'll grab all this stuff and head on back through. <clears throat> now I've seen a lot of recommendations from uh, from different different sources for like the maximum leveling speed that you can do um, if you want to be super efficient on getting to the higher levels. And all of that's like really interesting, um, but the thing I find most uh, most surprising is the uh, the difference in like XP per hour that you can earn for the different dungeons. Um, and I think that's that's mostly down to like how they're laid out more than anything. I'm gonna miss a whole section out for this, but it's fine. I'm not ready yet. And channel incinerate to maximize that burning damage. Lots of spiderlings everywhere, and we're caught in a web. One more down. Let's keep moving on. Yeah, once we once we really start um, channeling incinerate, it ramps up. That was like six k that we were seeing up there. Seven K per tick coming out from some of those. Out of mana once again. Okay, 
Let's at least stop new stuff coming in. Get all of that ammo. It looks like there's a lot of them really close together in here. down so quickly almost didn't even need to think about him and another cliff so I'm wondering with the glyphs whether we're um, just picking up like all the possible glyphs um, uh, or whether we can end up getting duplicates. Like, are they, are they like magic items where you could have uh, several of the same type of ring, just in different points on the board? And I suspect it's probably going to be um, they are unique, and we're just um, picking up possible ones like that, uh, kind of like legendary gems from. Uh, of Diablo 3. <clears throat> but until we've done enough Nightmare Dungeons, can't say for certain. These guys are not Atmos carriers. That is uh, interesting. You know what? Let's, uh, let's explode on them for a moment. Oh, that is not a good place to be frozen. Okay, we've got a point to put in. I need to decide where we're going to go next. Let's, um, let's save that point for now. That's the only thing I didn't do between the last episode and this one, is figure out what our best moves are going forwards. Because we're going to want to move towards another board, most probably. But I say most probably because I don't know for certain. Let's get that first mate gone. They've got so much health. Who's in this section? In one more level, we'll be able to. Um, oh my god, let's not run away. Uh, we'll be able to put on another of the season blessings. Let's try and get this guy killed before he makes us run away any further. Doing okay for space at the moment, but we are going to need to. Uh... Head back at some point. Salvage things up. Okay, another nightmare portal. He actually dead. I wasn't convinced. Purge this evil, but now I can't leave my friends here. Not like this. 
We... We can't do it alone. All right. Let's um, see what we can do to thin the mobs down. Oh, the nightmare portal is going to make this extra tough. Out of mana once again. <laughs> They're all dead. Oh my god, they're all dead already. Yeah. In Nightmare Dungeons, damage output is just so great. I'm not ready yet. Away slightly. There's not much left in him. There we go. Oop, that's a that's a big explosion, and we got another glyph from it. We had the sacred ring, which is um, potentially will. Um, uh, we'll get some coiling wards from that. We can My use use that to do some upgrades. What's it? Unstable currents don't care. Uh, damage reduction two and a half seconds don't care. Or channeling incinerate. That's a that's a better roll than our current uh, weapon. So we could extract that and put it on our weapon. Let's uh, let's head back. We'll just um, do a blanket salvage on most things, and then we'll we'll come back in and carry on. Yeah, this um, not rendering. I do not like it. Do not like it. Okay. Uh, we'll just salvage that up. We'll just salvage that up. I can break there we go. Up. Sorry, Amtru Sigil, not Coiling Don't Ward. Ruin all that work. And we'll probably extract that when we're done. Because that's going to be an extra 18% um, burning damage. Let's carry on looking for more Animus carriers. There's a whole cluster of them down here. I need time to prepare that. Definitely a fighting retreat moment. Let's uh, let the explosion happen. Then we'll come back in. To face the others. from this bit. 
Sadly, there's only one Animus carrier left. Let's go track him down. Ooh, a thousand gold on the ground. There it is. has appeared over the other side. Got it down though. Let's um, head back to the Animus Urn. Luckily it's just over here. But not far to travel. Resurrected Malice, we've fought you a few times before. Although, with our new improved firewall, I think this is probably going to be a lot easier. Look, 9,000 per tick. That is just insane amounts. Sacred chest armor, another nightmare sigil. And of course we can put some, some points in. So right now we're using reinforced. Actually on the board we're using reinforced. So let's, let's start putting points into that to make it uh, better. So we've got six XP left over, that can go in. Um, eh, don't care about that. I like that they can give plus ranks to passives. This is all right. So this is what we have on our helmet, except the percentages are better. So again, we'll probably want to extract that, put it on our helmet, extract that, put it on our weapon, salvage everything else up. Okay, so for our Paragon board, we can push towards the board attachment gate. Um, we've also got the rare node in the middle that we can move towards. Lucky hit for exit, you don't care. Damage reduction from enemies that are burning. It's nice that there's a couple of rare nodes uh, up here near the glyph socket, but the glyph socket itself isn't isn't super useful. Uh, what else could we do? Resist all down here. That's just, that's a flat eight percent resist all, and so is that one, and that's three nodes away. And that's one, two, three, four nodes away. I think we'll come over this way. I think we'll come over this way. So going up makes a lot more sense initially because that's going to move us closer to the middle as well. Uh, then we'll go right and uh, and gradually push up. So what did we get? We got charged. Hmm. Control, increased damage to crowd control targets, and destruction, critical strike damage. Okay. So there's still a lot that we can find. Ooh, quite like Unleash. 30% bonus to all magic nodes within range. That affects all the blue ones which could be pretty stonking. Okay, let's uh, get back on to our target. Uh. 
I can break that down. Okay, you are getting salvaged up. And these two are probably getting extracted. Doing all that work. So for the moment, we'll pop them down. And I'll sort out the extraction and um, rejigging of them off camera. Right. Uh, so, tier 6 was, was totally fine. What new ones did we get? We got a new Bastion of Faith tier 6. And we got uh, Dead Man's Dredge tier 6. So, with 6 being fine, we could jump straight up to 9. But 9 is quite a step up. Interesting. I would have thought that uh, oh, it did. It, yeah, it did give us the uh, the points. Maybe we'll do one in Kedjistan. Let's have a look over in, in Kedjistan. So, is there anything over here that we have specific? Quests for the Renegades Retreat. There's something near Hacken's Refuge. There's something near the Heretics Asylum. There's something semi near, and the Ashari Sanctum. We would get favors for. Tier ten for Heretics Asylum. That seems a bit much. Okay, for now, let's uh, let's go for the Bastion of Faith. It's only a tier six one, but uh, we'll be able to get through it pretty quickly. And we'll drink. Another third eye elixir. I made a bunch of death evasions, so we should be should be safe enough in in case of emergency. All right, let's uh, let's move quickly. Animus from Animus carriers. How long are we going to stay here? This place reeks. We're doing a right wall hug this time. Nice bit of variety. You won't last with me here either. Big un. I'm not ready yet. Oh, painful. That was the uh, the wrong skill. did it it was close our damage output's just not quite super 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 still we got some boots so it was a worthwhile use of time
There's an animus carrier. Goes first one gone. Flamey goodness in and let that cold vanish before it freezes us up. We're about to gain another paragon point as well. Yeah. Oh my god, the butcher's here. Do we try and fight him? Is that the butcher down in the middle? I am now very worried. We could try and find him. We don't have a way of teleporting away. Let's do that. Definitely don't want him to be getting any uh, damage reduction. Okay, that's an animus carrier, that's not the butcher. So the butcher's here somewhere, or was here somewhere. trying to fight the butcher just not if there's something that's giving a huge amount of uh, um, damage reduction to him let's head through the middle possible that he was slightly out of um, out of range couldn't reach us and he might have left Stunning from these guys is is annoying. Not gonna lie about that. Where even did you come from, Mr. Cleric? Okay. Let's push on a little. That's the animus uh, so this is not the way we can go.
so we're gonna have to go back and find that last animus carrier. I'm not ready yet. Okay, butcher's not down here. Yeah, I think the butcher might not be in the dungeon anymore. I think he might have been just on the very edge of where one of our skills could um, could hit him. Which is fine. I'm fine with not killing the butcher again or not fighting the butcher again. same time I want to be prepared just in case he is around. So we're not making assumptions. That's the last Animus Carrier. Burning out. And we are still alive. Let's uh, head back to the Animus Urn. I think the Butcher must have appeared in the centre and then tried to reach us, failed to find a path and vanish. If he's through the next door, I'm going to be very surprised. And a little terrified. Okay, mechanical box to a pedestal up here. Ooh, treasure goblin. Where are you going to stop, Mr. Goblin? This is really way too dangerous. Should not be doing this rule of Diablo is never retreat forwards. Right, let's try and buy our way out of this. Okay, I think it's it's worked. And when I say work, I mean I think we've not killed ourselves. That was exhilarating. I like that we're we're mobile and tanky enough to be able to do that. That did not feel like something that I need time should have worked. dangerous. Right, let's have a look at the map. Uh, we didn't see the box over that side. Let's head over to the left. Last way, shrine. Ah, oh, it's a cursed one. Well, that's fine. It means we can, um, we'll be able to use it on the boss. Out of mana once again. 
brutal malignant invoker. bit of explosion out on these. Let's pick up all of this stuff. Well, we didn't manage to defeat all the waves in time. But again, that comes down to just playing damage output more than anything. You know what? Let's uh, let's get the blast wave shrine right now, and we'll use that to push on. And uh... we can't pick up the. Uh... Oh no, that's the pedestal. So, oh, that means the box was down there. Oh my god, I thought that was the pedestal down there. Oh. That's just me not paying attention. I cannot carry more. Still, we're full of stuff. Let's clear some space in our tree, then we'll grab it and we'll uh, we'll come back in. I'm glad we got that treasure goblin. I'm glad we didn't have to fight the Butcher. There's so many things I'm glad of. What is that helmet like? Okay, so it's... It's actually not terrible. Our current one gives us maximum life, which I really do like. But this has got... Some pretty cool stats on it. So we lose the shadow resistance, but we we overall gain that it's got more potential. Plus, we can add sockets to it. So I think I think we change over to this. Right, it's going to take our maximum life down by four hundred, which is pretty significant. But we can just add a socket straight into this. You know what? We won't change over to it right this second. We'll do it after the next fight. And then we can get all the upgrades done as well at the same time. Can't believe I didn't didn't realize that the box was over here. I mean in my defense, we were running away from everything. It's a shame we don't get the, um, the meteorites from Inferno anymore, but the extra channeling damage is, is really where our output comes. That's where we are effective. All right, actually, I was going to put this um, this point in. Uh, up for dexterity. What did we need for this? That needed intelligence and willpower. And down here, we've already got enough dexterity for that. Yeah, these early ones, we're pretty maxed out on. Let's go to damage reduction from enemies that are burning. Pretty much our objective is to keep everyone burning all the time. That was pretty good. Okay, now the big fights. Big fights with big knights.
I do think that there is a bug in this um, dungeon with this um, entry hallway with them being too large to be able to step out. But I'm fine with exploiting that. Uh, we can we could do the dance around inside all we want, but it's not necessary. Fears mastery, chain lightning. Eh, we got some some bits. Let's uh, keep putting points into reinforced. That keeps making us better. And another dungeon is done. And we're quite a significant way towards level 56 now. <clears throat> okay. We'll switch over our helmet. And we're going to do our upgrades and salvaging and stuff. How can I help? So we can salvage up our old helmet. We know we're not going to need it anymore. For our Helm of Disobedience, I'd probably re-roll that cooldown reduction into, into extra life if I could manage it. This can go, although let's just double check, two ranks of fireball, lightning critical strike damage, no, it's no good for us. And for this, I think I prefer our current one. Likewise, these boots. More dust shots, which is nice. More movement speed, which is nice. But I think uh, the extra ranks of flame shield and the lucky hit is, is really what we need. So, let's do upgrades that, uh, that I said we were going to. One, two, three, four. It's going to be expensive on the coiling wards, but... It does max it out quite nicely. Never seen something finer. Let's uh, get each of them to four before we move on. I don't think we need to take this one to five just yet. Okay, we can afford to take one all the way to five. That damage reduction while injured, that's pretty stonking. So I think we'll uh, we'll go for that one. Use it well. Okay, we need to we need to do some that socketing. I can fix it. We can't afford this because we need more coiling wards. Can't afford that because we need more coiling wards. Adding a socket, we can only add the one because we've only got one prism, but everything else I think is already socketed out. Max, we don't have the money for it. Oh my god, we are so poor. We need to we need to sell things. Well, that that changes stuff, so we need a money making run next. I never thought we would um we would blitz through all of our money. Okay, well, I guess that means we are um, running at a slightly more dangerous, for want of a better way of putting it, um, uh, health level. Still, I feel like uh, this, is, this has gone well. We haven't been in any super, super danger and we're a lot stronger than we were previously. So that's... Uh, that's good for us. Uh, we definitely don't have the resources to move these across onto our equipment, so we're going to have to yeah, do some, some money-making runs. Uh, but that's all going to be next time. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, 
I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 4. See you soon. <laughs>